Hi everyone and welcome to another Fusion 360 challenge of the month. And this challenge is our first one for the fiscal year of 2017. If you are a beginner in Fusion 360, this is the best place to be. If you are a veteran user, this is the best place to maintain sharpness of your CAD skills. Joining the monthly challenge is very easy. All you have to do is email us your full name and school name. By completing all monthly challenges, you are eligible to receive an Autodesk Certificate of Course Completion signed by our Autodesk CEO. Finally, by completing all these challenges, you'll have the opportunity and the knowledge to pass the Autodesk Certified User exam. Hands on your keyboard and mouse, and let's get started. Our units is in inch. So let's go to our browser. Change active units. Under unit type, let's select inch. And hit OK. I'm going to hit L to grab our line tool. And we are now prompted to select a plane or planar face. Selecting our XY plane. So left click this one, prompted to place our first point, let's place our first point at the origin. So this is our origin. If I turn this bulb on, notice this point here that the axis converges into is our origin. So going back to look at. Line tool still active, left click at our origin. I'm gonna move up. My vertical dimension is highlighted in blue, meaning this one is active. I can key in 2.6 and hit enter. Our previous command was a line. I can hold my right mouse button and slide up to repeat line. So left click at this endpoint, moving here. And if I left click, so notice the dimension was not placed. Let's move down, left click once more, moving here, left click. Now I'm going to hover over our origin and move slowly to the right. So notice those blue dashed line and an inferred parallel constraint. And from that, I can left click once more. Now, because I performed a left click, it immediately placed a parallel constraint. Now, moving to our origin, left click, and this area suddenly turned into yellow. This is a clear indication that this area is now a closed region and is now a profile. And as I move my cursor, you can see a blue dashed line. So that is a inferred object snap. If you want this disabled, you can hold control. So notice as I move my cursor, no more blue dashed line. Moving forward, I'm going to hit D to grab our dimension. Now our dimension is located under sketch. And sketch dimension is located here at the bottom. So moving forward, we're going to select this vertical line. Now, as I hover, notice it highlights. So whenever it highlights, that is the moment that we can perform a left click. So left click this vertical line and left click this vertical line. Moving up. Placing my cursor here, left click once more to drop our dimension. Now this one is number one, hitting enter. I'm going to hit D to grab our dimension once more, selecting this horizontal line and this point. Left click, moving our cursor here, left click to drop our dimension. Keying in point 0.25, hitting enter. 
So our previous command was a dimension. I can hold my right mouse button and slide up to repeat sketch dimension. Selecting this vertical line, left click. And left click to drop our dimension here. Keying in, one, hitting enter. Now, our geometry skewed a bit, meaning this horizontal line is not a perfect horizontal line. Same here. This is not vertical anymore. Now, to make them both aligned vertically and horizontally, that is where constraints comes in. So, moving to our sketch palette, I'm going to scroll down, locate our horizontal vertical tool, left click this one, it turned into blue meaning it's active, selecting this line, so this one is highlighted, left click. In addition, some of the items here or geometric entities turned into black, so meaning they are fully constrained. Now it's possible if you're not seeing this color, the reason is, all you have to do is go to your account, select Preferences, moving to Preview, and make sure that Sketch is checked. Hitting OK, and hitting Escape to disable horizontal vertical constraint, hitting D to grab our dimension, Selecting this vertical line and this vertical line. Left click here to drop our dimension. A is equal to 4. Hitting enter. All entities turned into black meaning this is fully constrained. And from here, we can now go to stop sketch. Moving to create and selecting extrude. So take note, the shortcut is E. Left click. We are now prompted to select a profile, and this is our profile. Left click. One of our golden rule is to always make things symmetrical if they are symmetric. So I'm going to go to direction, select symmetric. Let's change this one to whole length for our measurement. I'm going to left click and hold. Dragging this arrow to the left. Now the thickness of this one, or length of extrusion, needs to be 2.5. So I can input it here or here. Operation, new body, and finally hit OK. Let's turn off the visibility of our origin planes and axis. Turning this bulb off and going to home view. Let's recall that our first sketch was written or sketched on our planes. In addition, we can also perform sketches on faces of solid bodies. So I can sketch here and here. And inspecting our drawing, we have a hole here. So I can hit C to grab our circle or go to sketch, selecting a circle, center diameter circle. We are now prompted to select a plane. So this is a plane, X, Y, X, Z, and Y, Z. And this is a planar face. So left click this face. I'm going to hold my shift and middle mouse button to rotate for us to see. So moving to our top view, left click, and we can also rotate by selecting this curved arrow, left click. Our design intent is to position our circle or hole here at the middle. Let's place our center point here, left click, so our dialog box is currently highlighted in blue. I can key in 0.562, hitting enter. 
In addition, we can also reposition our dimension. So let's hover over this dimension. Left click and hold. And drop this one here. Release. So hitting D to grab our dimension. Selecting this vertical edge and our center point. Left click. Moving up. And I'm going to hold my middle mouse button to pan. So notice our cursor turned into a hand. Release. And left click here. I'm going to key in 0.5. Hitting enter. Hitting D once more to grab our dimension. Selecting our center point. And this horizontal edge. Left click. Moving over here, left click to drop our dimension. I'm going to key in 1.25, hitting enter. It turned into black, meaning it's fully constrained. I can hit stop sketch or I can immediately hit E to grab our extrude tool. Let's go to home view. Prompted to select a profile, selecting the circular profile. Left click, and if I drag our arrow up, we are adding a material. And if I drag this down, Fusion 360 knows that we are subtracting material. Now the depth is negative 1.5. Operation became a cut, and finally hit OK. Going back to home view, moving to the challenging portion of this monthly challenge. I'm going to go to sketch and select point. Now we are prompted to select a plane or planar face. Selecting this planar face, left click. Let's drop our point here at this edge. So left click. Hitting escape, we now have a coincident constraint. So allow me to demonstrate. If I hold and left click this point, I am bounded only to this horizontal edge. So release and hitting D to grab our dimension. Going to look at. Selecting this point and this vertical edge, left click, dropping our dimension here. I'm going to key in 0.5, hitting enter, and selecting stop sketch. Let's rotate by holding our shift and middle mouse button. Heading back to sketch and selecting point. Selecting the planar face, left click, dropping our point at this edge, hitting D to grab our dimension, selecting this vertical edge and our point, left click, moving down and placing our cursor here, left click, keying in 1.5, hitting enter. Let's now go to Stop Sketch. Going to Construct. And selecting Plane through three points. So left click to activate. We are now prompted to select three vertices, points, or sketch points. Selecting this point, this point, and this point. Left click. So we now have a construction plane. And if you are not seeing this sketch points, make sure that under sketches, this last two sketch, the bulb is turned on. Let's now hit L to grab our line prompted to select a plane or planar face. I can select our newly constructed plane. To left click or I can also go to our browser and select plane 2. So left click. Prompted to select our first point, selecting this point, 
this point, this corner, and this point. So definitely, we now have a sketch profile. We can now hit E to immediately proceed to extrude, hitting E. Now, we are prompted to select a profile. What I can do is I can turn off the visibility of body 1, selecting this triangular profile, left click, turning body 1 on, dragging this arrow up. The color is red, meaning it's a cut operation. Selecting the extent to be all, and finally hit OK. Let's turn off the visibility of sketches and go to Home View. And congratulations for completing the first monthly challenge for this fiscal year. And I hope to see you soon on our March Fusion 360 monthly challenge. If you want to be ahead of the pack, and learn more about sketch constraints, I suggest you go to Plural Site and look for Fusion 360 Essentials and check out Mastering Sketch Constraints. High five and thanks for watching.